we're heading to our job. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away, and uh, we're still not there yet. So it'll be the first day on the job. I think it's um, 18 by 21 pond that we're going to be building up here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Can't wait to get there. We're just going to be pulling into town right now. Christmas ornaments. Open 361. It's a very old town, Frankenmuth, Michigan. It's a very clean town. Um, they put flowers out. Everybody does their thing to make their town look beautiful. They have a gas station. It's pretty clean. Yeah, they have a gas station. Kern sausage. Kerns sausage. A lot of people in Michigan come up here and they'll do a day trip, go to the different shops. Here's a little mall that they have right here, the River Place Shops. We've been there before with the family. There's an old covered bridge over there. Can't really see it there. There's a good shot of it, covered bridge. This is an old German town, Frankenmuth. A lot of different places. It bells. Something's happening. They even have a water feature right over there in downtown square. This is a world famous Zenders famous chicken dinners right there Pretty cool town These are the flowers I was talking about at their lampposts gardens are lush really nice Hey, this is Dan with Foots Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel. Today, well actually all this week, we're going to be up here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. And let me turn the camera around. Here's Hi. our new clients. Hi. And are you guys excited about getting a new pond? Yeah. yeah. Today's the day. So we're going to start, and we're going to make a big mess in your backyard. So we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, let me take you out back, and we'll show you our plan. in the backyard turn the camera around so what we're gonna have in this uh, area we've got a 21 from where Derek is down there over to here 21 feet from the edge of the deck here um, right over in this area here going across here 18 feet at the crest of this berm that's already here we're gonna have an 18 foot long meandering stream cascading upper you know, we have a drop coming out of the bio falls here, a middle drop, and then an ending drop here in the pond. This is going to be a really nice area. It's right next to their patio, and they'll be able to enjoy it. Because it's right up here to the deck, um, and the pond is going to be narrower here, I thought what we'd do is they'd be able to step off the deck onto a couple rocks, and then across the pond there. So, 
Um, it's just a nice quaint little area. It's got a flowering crab here. We've got a blood good maple here. Nice shade. Um, Going to be reduced amount of algae in a pond that has less shade. So, so that's the layout of this project. I think our challenge on challenges on this project are going to be um, utilizing the soil that's here since the berm is already here. We're going to be spreading a lot of soils up and through here. Anything left over that we do not use will go over in this area here. Back, it's relatively flat backyard, so not a lot of uh, surface uh, stormwater runoff going into the pond. Um, that's, you know, that's our norm in a backyard, working in flat backyard. So we won't be putting berms around the pond at all. Um, so I'd say challenges on a job like this are going to be, you know, access here. You see that we've already made our machine back here already. Not a big deal. Uh, we've got a city sidewalk that runs along here. So that's access for us for small dingo to get our rocks back here. And then uh, we're good to go. So let's hit it. All right, so standing from the deck, we've got this excavated out, got the hole for the skimmer roughed in. Right in this area here, I didn't go as deep because, like I mentioned, I want to do those stepping stones and I don't want three foot boulders here. You know, they got to stick out of the water just a little bit for, so that way people can know that it's supposed to be a step over, so I didn't go that deep. Down here, it's two feet deep. We've got a little planting shelf for lilies, but if you've followed any of our videos, I like to make as much room as I can for the koi so I don't make an upper shelf. Um, I minimize my water lily shelves so that way the koi have more room. The more shelves in a pond, the less room there is for the koi. So again, we got a two foot depth pond, a little different shape than what, we're, than what you're used to seeing in our work but I wanted to wrap around these trees. I wanted to stay far enough away. I did hit some capillary roots, but no main roots on these trees because we want to keep these intact. For this crab apple tree, I hit those branches like many, many times. So um, I don't know, we'll probably rub some dirt in it and uh, hopefully they come back. We've got excess soils up and through this area, excess soils back and through this area. Talking to the homeowner, suggesting that he put some stepping stones going back over here to his uh, walkway here. Um, you can see we found the sprinkler lines. Those are easy to find with an excavator. Not going to need irrigation in this area for any lawn because the lawn is gone for this area, but there probably will need to be some repairs to the irrigation after we leave. We're going to take advantage of what our customers have provided for us for lunch today and then uh, get back at it. Got boulders and gravel coming to my but look at that. The gorgeous bratwurst. Our customers do treat us well. Alright, so what we've got here is we've got two bulkhead fittings. We've got an MPT threaded. This will thread into the one at one side of the bulkhead fitting and then our pipe will attach to that. And then typically we'll use uh, an elbow, uh, schedule 42 inch elbow coming out and done. We put um, this black goo, uh, it's fish safe silicone. That'll go on the threads here, so it'll give us a watertight seal. 
So you want to start out by reversing the threads. You go inside and you'll put your bulkhead fitting, rubber washer on the inside, plastic washer on the outside. Because water is going to be inside the biofalls, we want to make sure it stays inside the biofalls. Spin that tight, get it just hand tight. Use a big pair of channel locks and then we'll tighten this down. Usually maybe a couple turns. We don't need to have it super, super tight because these are plastic and we don't want to snap the fittings. So you do both of them. Again, rubber on the inside, plastic washer on the outside. Reverse your threads, get it started. Get it hand tight. Once that's hand tight, crank it down just a little bit. One, two. Three, done. Add some silicone. First you decide what side your piping's coming in at. So my piping's gonna be coming in from the right side, so that's gonna be our connection. So on our MPT, add a little bit of that fish safe black silicone. 100% silicone is also fish safe. This one is regular thread. Tighten that down. Righty tighty, lefty loose. So that bobcat sure does make it easy for digging. So what we want to do now, we want to level this out side to side. Get some soil just to temporarily stabilize it. You already do the connections? And then um, front to back, I want about a quarter bubble off. Bingo. Front's got to come up just a little bit on that side. Boom. So you want a quarter bubble uh, tilted forward, not much. Then you check your side to side again, just to stabilize it. So while I was overdoing the biofalls, Brian is setting the skimmer in. So he's got a Signature Series 1000 skimmer. It's gonna house five PL pump. So water will come in through the opening here, go over the weir into a basket that'll catch floating debris. And then there's a mat below that, catch any small particulate. That's part of the maintenance that a homeowner would do as far as keeping that basket empty. So that way we get good water flow to our pump. Let's look at the back of the uh, skimmer. We've got Another MPT, just like on the uh, biofalls. On the other side, right here, that's uh, gonna be for discharge. So if water level gets too high in the pond, instead of going up and over the edge and then sitting down here in this clay soil and creating hydrostatic pressure underneath the liner, it will exit out of the overflow and go out down into the lawn. While Brian's getting that set and level, uh, I'm gonna work on uh, getting some underlayment in this pond so we can get the liner in here. And right now, I think I hear the uh, dump truck coming for our boulder delivery. So let's go out front and see what we got.